Combs. My address is 135 Cattle Farm Drive, Raleigh, NC. Um, and you're speaking as an individual, not for any organization? Yes. Um, who is the utility that provides electric service to you? Uh, Duke Energy Programs. Um, okay, please make your statement. Hi, my name is Colson Combs. Thank you for the chance to speak today. I am here to express some of my concerns with Duke Energy's proposed IRP update. I do not think that Duke focuses enough on renewable energy and on solar power in particular in its IRP. 4% renewable energy and 5% energy efficiency in 2029 is ridiculously low. 4% renewable energy and 5% energy efficiency does not even come close to impairing Germany's astounding 80% renewable energy and, and, on a good day, 50% solar. Duke Energy is a bully, just allowing the people to suffer because they cannot assume responsibility of their hazardous coal ash ponds does not give me the impression of a well-run, uncorrupted company. This is just one example of Duke's shadiness. Another example is how Governor McCrory met with Duke Chief Executive Lynn Good, and no one will say why. You just have to wonder, why is it so important to keep the meeting a secret? What does Duke have to hide? Consider the fact that Governor McCrory worked for Duke Energy for almost 30 years. Here's one more. Duke Energy is actively working to shut down the solar program used by a small church. A small church named Faith Community Church. You'd think that a large, prosperous company like Duke Energy would at least be able to refrain from attacking the small church and the nonprofit that supports them. Furthermore, utility companies shouldn't be the only ones who are allowed to sell solar power to the people. It's just solar power, not nuclear, not coal, not gas, just solar. Why is Duke so threatened by a small church that wants to help the environment by using clean energy? We need the Utilities Commission's help. I am 12 years old, and I can't help worry about my future. I need your help to ensure the safety of the kids of my generation. For every one degree Celsius increase caused by CO2, there are annually a thousand more deaths and many more cases of asthma and respiratory illness in the U.S. One thousand more lives lost. Has Duke Energy even considered the cost and lives the carbon dioxide pollution will bring? The numbers show that CO2 pollution needs to stop. As many of you have children and grandchildren. Is that what you want for them? A world of pollution and sickness? I know that's not what I want. So please, require that Duke Energy significantly increase its solar power plans and its IRP. Thank you for your time and your help. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr.